This is Tracy Nix, and you're watching CCW Alive. Former CCW Women's Champion, friend of the fans, Robot, the Chilean native, burst on the scene here some four years ago, and in her first match, captured that CCW Women's Championship over Marina Tucker. Yeah, Dan, yeah, no, I uh, mean, Roma, a last territory favorite. The CCW faithful can never get enough of Roma. And let me tell you something, former CCW women's champion, her and Ruthie J have been at each other's throats. They have been at each other's throats, interfering in one of each other's matches. And I mean, this one, no disqualification for a reason, Dan. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting matchup. Ruthie James developed quite the mean streak. She's got something against Roma, and she's looking at Roma with a hug for the referee, of course. And she ladies loves and gentlemen, I've just been informed that this will be a no disqualification match. Well, Lisa getting the lose a little bit late. Her opponent. From Miami, Florida, she is your CCW Women's Champion, NWA Superstar, and a five-star athlete, Ruthie J. Well, Ruthie J successfully defended that title last night in trouble in the tropics. Yeah, Ruthie J, she's been defending her title every show, I feel like. And she always finds a way to get out of the match, still holding that championship. Ruthie J, of course, the five-star athlete, NWA star. Any sport she's ever competed in, she's excelled. She's on top of the CCW women's division. Of course, that beautiful championship proves it right there. Well, she's not going to give an opportunity for Amy Veronica to present that title. Putting it right here on the table. And I think you alluded to it earlier, the, the attitude of Ruthie J all of a sudden. As the bell sounds, they're just going at it. They're going right at it, Fist of Fury. Exchanging blows. Hey fans, if you didn't know it, they don't like each other. <laughs> Roma underneath that clothesline. Oh. Got a nice wheelhouse kick. Not going for the cover instead. Hammering away with right hands. Roma turned her over though. This one is not going to be pretty, Tyler. These women do not like one another, and they're looking to beat the heck out of each other, and Roma's looking for that title belt. Dan, we're seeing it right now. Ruthie J with that mean streak. But look at that, Roma turn it on her. Ruthie J to the outside down here, hard on the concrete floor. Dan, Roma. You, you don't think we're going to see. Oh! oh. Ruthie J just grabbed a sheet pan, it looked like a sheet pan from underneath the ring. As Roma went for that tope suicida, she nailed her right in the face. I mean, that thing bounced off the skull of Roma. She's feeling it right now. Ref, Amy checking on her. I took the top of my band, but really she caught her with a corner of it. Yeah. It, it was nasty. I mean, full head of steam. But hey, everything legal, Dan. Oh, wait, Roma. Oh my goodness. Roma's been lacerated and it's a bad cut. Oh my God. And Ruthie J is gonna be all over it here. Ruthie J, man, 
point. Roman is bleeding. She's bleeding badly, Tyler. Oh, my. Targeted those steel steps. Trying to wipe that blood out of her eyes. And Ruthie J's enjoying herself right now. She, I mean, I've never seen this side of Ruthie J. I, the blood all over Roman. She's coming right after her. Oh, watch out. Ruthie J over that guardrail into the fan area. Roma's going after her. Amy Veronica better get out there. Oh my God, these fans need to watch out. They might catch a forearm if they're not careful. Oh, just bounce it. Oh, she jammed her into one of those oak eggs. Yeah, she bounced to the head. And Ruthie J turned it back on her, Dan. I know it's hard to see our vantage point. Everyone's standing up. Oh, they're going back Tyler, there. Tyler, I can't see a thing. Oh, we lost them. I can tell Andy you. Andy Veronica needs to get that both competitors back into the ring. Well, Tyler, I hear a whole bunch of stuff slamming around. Nothing good is happening back there. Just hearing things getting slammed, screams, people are oohing and aahing. I can't wait to see the tape. I don't know who has the advantage, be it Roma or Ruthie J. But, I mean, just but either way, the pinfall can only take place inside the squared circle. So if victory is their goal, they're gonna have to get back inside the ring. Well, Dan, I mean, it just speaks to this blood feud that we're talking about. I mean, these two just hate each other. Going into the CCW faithful, just brawling right now. Goodness gracious knows what they're doing to each other. What a night we've had here so far. Lots of implications. Game of War appears to have been set up, Tyler. The South American Alliance and Cha-Cha Charlie need a fifth man on their team as they're gonna face Meadow, Danny Birch, The Crown, just and Stallion Rogers. Just an absolute team of killers. Whoever that fifth man is, they better bring someone big, someone bad, because, I mean, they got the cards stacked against them on that one. That's gonna be on June 15th up in Port St. Lucie. And the fourth batch of the Brew 41 will be occurring here on June 1st. And then the action making its way a little bit back here. I saw them exchanging some forwards. Oh, that chair just got thrown in the face of Roma. My goodness. Roma's still playing all over the place. Here they are. Roma, I mean, she doesn't look like she knows where she is right now. Oh, my. Oh. Tyler, I still can't see him. Well, they. Ruthie J just got a face full of beer, courtesy of Roma. Roma's wiping her blood on people's shirts, trying to clear her eyes to see. I mean, this is pure violence that we are seeing tonight at Bachelor of the Brew XL. This just goes to show what that women's championship means. These two women going to war against one another. And Roma, I saw her go back in the locker room area. I don't know where Ruthie J is. They could be anywhere. Oh, there's Ruthie J right there. Ruthie J on the hunt. Where did Roma She's got go? a steel chair. She walked back in the locker room. What the hell is going there on? There she Dan? is. What an insane night. <laughs> Only a bash at the room. Oh, I, oh, think I heard a slam of a chair. There goes Roma. Finally now, the action spills back into the ring. At least Rome is in there. Ruthie J, I'm sure, is not far behind. Looks like she went back to go grab something. Referee Amy checking on Roma right now, trying to clear that blood away from her face. Here comes Ruthie J. Damn, we're finally back in the ring. Ruthie J with a vicious forearm shiver to the back. Roma slumped in the corner, trying to catch her breath. Bleeding slightly. Oh! Double knees as she leaped off the rope. She's a five-star athlete for a reason. Still using that agility, even in a match like this. Cover, Dan. One, two. Roma able to kick out, keeping her championship hopes alive. Ruthie looking for more plunder. 
There's all sorts of things under there. She got another steel chair, as if one wasn't enough. And that cookie sheet that did that initial, initial damage. There she goes. Waffling the back of Roma. I saw that cookie sheet, the corner of it caught Roma right in the forehead. That was enough to bust her open. And the five-star athlete continuing to attack. Hook of the leg, two, not enough. And Dan, I think a good question to ask yourself, is this just not Roma's type of match? Does she not have that aggressive side in her like apparently Ruthie J does? That killer instinct to go out there and put it all on the line, just use anything necessary to win. Does Roma have that in her? Well, only time will tell. Ruthie J with a seat in the center of the ring, admonishing her challenger. Which I don't think is a very smart strategy. She is giving Roma valuable time to recuperate. But look at this submission, oh my goodness. Roma with a look of agony on her face. She's got to dig down deep, Dan. Ruthie J with that bridge rearing back on that chin. This could be over. Roma trying to get to the ropes. Oh, Roma's got that cookie sheet. Oh, she managed to swing it back, a glancing blow, but enough to break up that cover. Or excuse me, break up that submission hold. That second one did more damage. Roma's got to do something here. Take advantage. She's throwing those forearms for everything she's got. Roman oh out. Oh! Devastating German suplex with the release. The champion landed right on the back of her head. Oh, man. The Chilean challenger. Fired up now. Big clothesline. And again. Out of the way, the close line from Ruthie J. Backstabber! Oh. Backstabber connected. That could be it. That could be it. Roma, though. Roma, though. Not, she doesn't have. She doesn't, just, she doesn't want to go for the cover. That's not enough. And maybe she's answering that question I proposed earlier. Does she have that killer instinct? She might put away Ruthie here, Dan. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Beautifully executed double underhook suplex onto that steel chair. That could do it. Hook of the leg, new champion possibly. Only a two count though. These women have put each other through so much. Brawling in the crowd, chair shots after chair shots. What is it gonna take, Dan? Well, something's gotta give, Tyler. Both ladies now back on their feet. Roma charging with that forearm. Putting Ruthie J up on that top turnbuckle. Oh, she's used a superplex to great success. Oh. She could be looking for one here, Tyler. Oh, but look at Ruthie J firing back with a knife edge chop. Yeah, this doesn't work good for anybody. Oh, Ooh, man, Roma just nailed her. Oh. And Ruthie J returning the favor. Just back and forth in no man's land. Roma's got her hooked. Oh, no. Oh, my. Superplex. Oh. Can you believe it? Roma with that big superplex. Both women are down. Can Roma capitalize and get that cover? She's crawling over. She's got to cover one, two. Ruthie J slides out, gets that right shoulder, excuse me, that left shoulder up. She's our champ for a reason, isn't she, Dan? I mean, so she is a Not one to go down and defeat easily. Roma now. Trying to figure out what it must, what she must do to put the champion away. She <laughs> said, Roma, get the tables. Hey, that's one hell of a way to get fired up, and she is looking for those tables. There's, that table that was there for the belt presentation is still there. Dan, that is a that is a heavy table. Yeah, Roma uh, struggling with the weight of it. Well, she's got it up and in the ring now. Well, the CCW faithful want tables, and Roma is a woman of the people. She's giving them what they want. Question is, can she get it set up in time before Ruthie J recovers? Great point. She's yeah. going to lead it into the corner there. Right behind Roma. 
Ruthie is making her way back up to her feet. Did she waste too much time? Four arm blows by the champion. Ruthie oh. J with a head of steam. Oh, oh. look at Roma. Has her across the shoulders. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Death Valley driver right through the table. If Roma can get her flat on her back, we're gonna have a new champion. She snapped her in half. Wait, what the Wait hell is minute. this? What the heck? Who's this? That's Nikki Blackheart. That's Nikki Blackheart been training at the CCW training facility. That is one big gal. Oh, she's got her right hand across by the hair. Roma. Oh, she just wiped her out with a short arm clothesline. What the hell? Nikki Blackheart seemingly aligned with the women's champion, Ruthie J. She helps her to her feet. Is this an alliance we're seeing? Ruthie J and Nikki Blackheart? There's no disqualification, and the champion seemingly thought ahead. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not like this. No, no, no! Oh! Down onto that steel chair. One, two. Oh my goodness! Roma able to kick out, digging down deep. How the hell did Roma get out of that? No one kicks out of the star dust, not unless on the chair, man. Look, Ruthie distracted with ref Amy. She needs to get back in the match. Roma now with the boots of the midsection oh. and a DDT on that chair. Her head bounced off the damn chair. That's got to do it. You have to think, but what is it going to take? Goes for the cover. One, two. I'm just. How in the world did Ruthie J get her shoulder up? What does Roma have to do to put the champion away? These two women. Just an absolute war. Now you throw Nikki Blackheart on the outside. She got involved in this one. Absolute chaos. Bash of the crew, XL. Will we see a new women's champion? What? She's got a pool cue. Nikki Blackheart passing her pool cue. And Ruthie J swinging into the midsection this of Roma. She's got that stick across the throat of Roma. She's going to oh. choke her out, Tyler. She's wrenching on that. Oh. oh my god! And she bridges with it. No. Roma's gotta tap out. She's gotta tap out to save her she, career. She's fading, Dan. She's not tapping, she's fading! Referee calls for the bell. This one is over. Here's your winner, and still CCW Women's Champion, Ruby. Nikki Blackheart was the straw that broke the camel's back in this one, Tyler. No kidding. I mean, just, I mean, they robbed Roma. Roma was there. She had it. And then Nikki Blackheart not only interfering once, interfering twice in this match, almost uh, just setting this all up for Ruthie J. I hate to see it end like this, but the champion doing what it takes to walk out of here and still. Your CCW Women's Champion, Ruthie J. Wow, Ruthie J celebrating on the shoulders of Vicky Blackheart, triumphant over Roba. Unbelievable match, Dan. What a night so far, man. What a powerhouse that Vicky Blackheart is. Wow, well, Roba gets the back. Excuse me, Ruthie J. Gets the victory. Roma, what a matchup, Tyler. Unbelievable. What the what about the heart of the challenge? Roma was seconds away of maybe becoming a new champion, but Nikki Blackheart put an end to that. I can't wait to see what our women's champion has to say about Nikki Blackheart and where this is gonna all go. Well, only time will tell. Coming up next, our main event here tonight. QT Marshall defending that CCW heavyweight championship against Elijah Drago. We'll be right back. Stone Design, from fabrication to installation of natural stone and quartz. Sick of seeing the same old kitchen? Revamp with us. Call us today or check us out online at BocaStoneDesign.com.
You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County. Struggling to get back to his feet. 
Drago really taking his time here. Drago now with a right hand to the ribcage. Now driving the shoulder into the midsection of QT Marshall. Marshall in serious trouble here. Hard into the buckle. And Marshall is feeling it. He's already favoring that side there. Almost looks like his hip just already damaged, Dan. This is exactly how Drago would want to start this one, you have to imagine. Uh, without a doubt, he's in control. Marshall, though, gamely firing back. Great hands to the midsection, having some success. But a knee driven into the chest. Taking all the wind out of his sails. Oh. And a well-placed drop kick. That, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, he's an athletic freak. He's that big and he's leaving his feet. He's doing springboards. He's doing drop kicks. We could be looking at the future of the last territory here. We may very well indeed. Drago dragging Marshall back to his feet. Only to place him on that center rope and drive the knee into the back. His throw is across that, across that middle rope, Tyler. Yeah, just cutting off all the air. All that weight of Drago just crushing Marshall. But Marshall, you know, he's got that fighting spirit within him, Dan, but I don't know if it's enough. We hear there of a guy that big, but he's firing back. Right hands and knife edge chops, successive ones. Reversal though by Drago. Driving that elbow into the chest, and down goes Marshall. And as you know, Dan, these two are, are pretty familiar with each other. Is it? There's some background there. They are indeed both spent a lot of time at the Nightmare Factory in Atlanta, Georgia. Marshall, co-owner with Cody Rhodes. Drago just proud of his work so far. That's a little bit of the inexperience showing. If you got Marshall down, the CCW World Heavyweight Champion, you got to keep it on him. Don't look to the fans. I mean, you're in a main event heavyweight championship match. That could cost him at the end, Dan. Yep, walking away from him is a huge mistake. Right now, does not look like anything is costing Drago as Marshall is in trouble right now. Drago completely in control of this one. Almost surprising. I don't know about you, Dan. I'm surprised about it. About I this. am as well. Marshall has been on the defensive position since the onset. Firing backs now with knife edge chops and forearm blows. Reversal again by Drago. Oh, Marshall! Oh. Upside down, staggering back out to the center of the ring. Uh oh, Drago now has him. Look at that power of Drago! Ooh, oh, man! That backbreaker, unbelievable. Had him up in that torture rack. You don't, to his knees. You don't see that every day, Dan. I mean, you don't. most men don't have the power to do that. Marshall, oh, look at the leg. Only a two count. Marshall tipping the scales at about 235, 240. Yeah, he's no small, small man himself. And Drago picking him up like he's a child. <laughs> That's just unbelievable. I mean, look at this now. This guy's got a little bit of everything, doesn't he? I mean, that was uh, innovative was, there. He's, he's smart. He knows pinning his shoulders to the mat is the only way he gets that title. He's got a bear hug across the rib cage and rolling Marsh out of his shoulders, being sure to keep his shoulders off the mat. He's just squeezing with everything he's got on Marsh out, trying to take away any oxygen. Marsh out, struggling to get back to his feet. Trying to separate the hands, that vice like grip of Elijah Drago. The faithful trying to cheer on QT. But I mean, QT tried to turn in and possibly go for an offensive maneuver. But Drago just corrected and started squeezing the lower back of Marshall. Marshall now with right hands. That forearm blow caught him in the jaw. Seeing to loosen the grip up a little bit. And there you see it again, Tyler, loosening that grip up. Yeah, Marshall's got heavy hands right there. Just got his belt run with that one. Drago still all over Marshall. Oh, Marshall doing what it takes to get wow. Drago off of him. From our vantage point, we can see it was a low blow. Bruce Owens, his view shielded by Marshall. And Drago not even phased. That's unbelievable. Ooh. Ooh. He just drop kicked the knee of a charging Drago. 
QT is feeling it now. This might be the opportunity, Dan. Marshall needs a strike, and he will do so. Right hand by Marshall. Marshall it again, and another right hand. He's got such heavy hands. Three in a row, make it four. Marshall now, the champion, firing back on the challenger. Reversal, though, by Drago. Whoa. Springboard, and Zagori connects. I don't think he got all of it, though. Only enough to stagger the big man. And that time, he got him. He's still not down, Dan. What is it going to do to take him off his feet? Savak kick. That one caught him on the chin, but a glancing blow, perhaps. There's that another. time, he caught him. He's got the big man up. Slams him down. Marshall needs to capitalize. Removing that elbow pad. Marshall going to the outside. Could be looking to come off the top. I don't know how smart this is, Dan, but he is looking for it. High risk, high reward. Oh, he nailed the elbow drop. Beautifully done. Right across the chest. The big man is down. This is the first time we've seen QT in a dominant position this whole match. Marshall feeling it now. He's got unbranded brewery fired up. I think he's looking for that cutter. He's looking for that diamond, diamond. cutter. No. Drago had it scouted. Whoa. Spine buster by the Ukrainian. Spine on the pie. One, two. Oh. Wow. Close again. Marshall barely getting his shoulder up. It does not get closer than that. Eli Drago nearly walked away with that beautiful new CCW Heavyweight Championship. Now just trash talking QT. Drago now with Marshall. Marshall out of the way. Rolls him up. One, two. two. Not enough. Powerful, powerful legs. Look at that. Oh Marshall went for the cutter. But Drago stood his ground and just shoved him off. What an incredible show of strength by the Ukrainian challenger. Just tossed Marshall it. with a pain look on his face as he clutches at his lower back. Dan, both men right now outside on the apron. Nothing good happens out here. What is Drago thinking? Nothing Drago good. the champion now. Oh, man. Marshall holding on to that middle rope. Marshall able to avoid the offensive maneuver. Forearm to the jaw. Marshall again. Dan, the, the big man is staggered, Tyler. This is so damn dangerous. Oh, he pulled oh. the back in the ring. Drago now on the apron. Marshall trying to get back to his feet. Drago looks to be going for that same. Oh! oh. Marshall caught him with that diamond cutter. Hook of the leg. Two, Two three. three. He got him. Wow, the champion pulled it off. Dan, that experience edge of QT paid dividends. He had that move scouted out. He saw it earlier. This time, he caught him in that diamond cutter. One, two, three. Thank you for coming, Drago. But man, Eli Drago is going to be a problem for the last territory. Well, I tell you what, QT can thank his lucky stars. I mean, skill played a role, and the experience certainly played a role. But Drago really took it to our champion. And I think you far job to consider himself fortunate to walk away with that victory. Job well done, though, by our champion. What a main event. What a bash at the fruit. Unbelievable. Mark, Mark Chow placing that title on the top turnbuckle and asking for the microphone. Oh, man. Real quick, please. Man, that guy kicked the crap out of me. What? Marshall, tell it like it is. Lovely. Hustle. Your CCW champion. And I just wanted to say, as hot as it is in here, you guys stay hot the whole night. And us at CCW, we appreciate that. We hope to see you keep coming back each and every single month. Thank you very much. Have a great night. The best damn crowd in Florida, Dan. Without a doubt.
Well, three title matches here tonight. All champions retain. Meadow via disqualification. Ruthie J with the help of Nikki Blackheart and QT Marshall, with all the experience he had under his belt, able to walk away with a victory. Tyler, what a night. What a night. Back to the crew. XL lived up to all the expectations and then some. We had big moments, big surprises. And just like always, the last territory is going to keep on rolling, Dan. We'll be back with Bash and Crew number 41 on June the 1st. On behalf of Tyler Kazmir, I'm Dan Evans, and our ring announcer, Alicia Almeida. Have a great night. So long for the Sunshine State. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.